Welcome to Fear and the Path to Freedom, where we'll unlock strategies to overcome fear of self-expression, guided by inspiring figures like Martin Luther King Jr. Diving right into the very heart of our discussion, let's examine a universal phenomenon, the fear of self-expression. This pervasive anxiety often wells up when we're compelled to share our innermost thoughts, ideas, and emotions. Its omnipresence might seem daunting, but remember, this very fear plays a vital role in personal growth. By grappling with this hurdle, we can initiate a transformative journey of self-improvement. Illustrative of this idea, consider the inspirational life trajectory of Martin Luther King Jr. King, a stalwart advocate for civil rights, persistently confronted his own apprehensions to voice out against gross injustices. Despite facing intense adversity, King's voice, driven by courage and determination, ultimately rang stronger than his fear. A poignant message emanates from his actions, audibly echoing the significance of overcoming fear. This leads us to the crux of our discourse. The struggle against fear, akin to King's journey, paves the way to personal freedom and growth. Hence, by embracing the fear of self-expression rather than evading it, we unlock the potential to develop as individuals and release untapped reservoirs of personal freedom. That is the compelling revelation we learn from Martin Luther King's life. Fear confronted is freedom gained. The fear of self-expression can be likened to standing at the edge of a vast landscape, yearning to cross but paralyzed by dread. It's a struggle many face, silencing their creativity and eroding mental health. It's like locking away vibrant colors in the obscure depth of monotones. The renowned artist Vincent van Gogh, a man infamous for his turbulent life and fiery creativity, typifies this battle. His life, a bitter and sweet symphony drowned in troubled silence, emerged as a masterpiece sparking revolutions in the cohesive art domain. Despite sailing against the current of opprobrium, he dared to unleash his internal chaos onto canvases. Vincent's colorful melancholy resonates through the ages, reminding us that even amid fear, our inner sentiments and thoughts crave to be expressed. Just as Vincent found liberation in self-expression, we too can break free from our mental chains, allowing our creativity to flourish unabated. Conquering this fear isn't about reaching Vincent's fame. Rather, it's about living authentically, valuing our ideas, and giving them freedom, just like Vincent. To tread this path, understanding and acknowledging the fear of self-expression is the first crucial stride. Recognize that your thoughts are your masterpiece. Unique to you, they deserve the canvas of the world. As silence takes its toll, depression and anxiety creep in. The emotional burdens of unexpressed thoughts mutate into formidable challenges, leaving those ensnared caught in debilitating mental states. In extreme cases, a loudly echoing silence can push individuals to the precipice of existential despair, catalyzing dangerous leanings towards suicide, a tragic consequence of silent internal battles. However, history tells tales of inspiring souls who have deployed their creativity to combat their internal tumult. Virginia Woolf, a woman fraught with psychological struggles, found solace in her stream of consciousness musings, her voice carved into the very fabric of modernist literature. Edgar Allan Poe, a master of macabre and mystery, painted his internal horrors onto the canvas of his narratives, morphing personal demons into incredible tales of human psyche. Ernest Hemingway, brevity his beacon, employed a terse style to reveal the stark realities of his life, an unflinching admission of hardships endured and battles fought. These luminaries recognized their hardships, embraced self-expression, and found relief, reintegrating their fragmented selves back into the world they belonged. It is this power of voice this courage to express our vulnerabilities that can guide us out of the bleak wilderness of self-imposed silence. Cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, brings change by reframing faulty thought patterns. It starts by recognizing irrational beliefs and negative thoughts that keep us trapped. Distinguishing irrational fears from real concerns then becomes imperative. If we mistreat doubts as danger, we amplify anxiety unnecessarily. Instead, CBT encourages us to discern, to differentiate concerns rooted in reality from irrational worries. That's not the end. What follows is the formulation of rational responses. 
CBT champions the replacement of irrational thoughts with perspectives based on evidence. From it always goes wrong, we shift to it went wrong last time, but I've learned and can do better. Concurrently, visualization shows us a new way. Visualizing success, picturing specific outcomes equips us to manage fear and build confidence. It's an exercise professionals in high pressure careers, including athletes, use to their advantage. Mental rehearsal of successful shots, races, or matches helps them improve their performance. Imagine the boundless power of visualization in our everyday lives. And so this combination of cognitive restructuring and visualization becomes indispensable tools in managing our fear of self-expression. Exposure therapy arouses curiosity with its strategic approach to fear centered on direct confrontation. A yardstick in the therapeutic toolbox, it embraces two methodologies, gradual and sudden exposure. Imagine an arachnophobic. A gradual exposure could begin with just shuffling through spider pictures and eventually escalate to observing a real spider, while a sudden one implies immediate exposure to an arachne, disrupting their phobia head on. The motives behind exposure therapy are simple, yet powerful. Desensitization of fear stimulating the reduction in the fear response over time. But fear is personal. Hence, exposure therapy sports a tailored plan, custom built to each individual, meticulously charting step-by-step -step increments of exposure. There's more to it. Habituation. The repetitive familiarity with fear ends in minimizing the fear response. Much like overcoming stage fright, kickstarting it by rehearsing lines in front of a mirror, gradually upgrading to a colossal audience. By understanding and implementing exposure therapy, our fear of self-expression becomes less of an imposing obstacle and more of a challenge we can overcome. Unleashing the power of positive self-talk, we witness how internal dialogues shape our mindset and actions, casting either shadows of self-doubt or rays of self-confidence. Imagine the weight of negativity, whispering words such as, I can't do this, exerting an invisible force that smothers creativity. Now visualize flipping this narrative, fostering a supportive internal voice, uttering phrases like, I can learn and improve. Feel the liberation, the surge of newfound confidence, the evaporation of fear. Let's consider someone burdened with the fear of public speaking, agonizing over potential humiliation. The refrain is all too familiar. I'll mess up, everyone will laugh transforming their internal monologue to encouraging affirmations like, I might stumble, but it's a step towards improvement. The fear is not so imposing anymore. Fear is no longer a specter looming ominously, but a stepping stone fostering resilience and growth. Cultivating these positive dialogues is akin to watering a plant, gently nourishing it to bloom. As a result, creativity flowers into vibrant hues of abstraction, innovation, and courage. Harness your positive self-talk, witness the shift, and embrace the creative freedom it offers. Finding strength amidst fear is a dance well-performed with the ensemble of friends, family, and professionals by your side. When navigating the seas of self-expression, this support brigade offers a safe harbor. It bolsters your sails with motivation and quiets the storm of judgment. Let's consider the valuable role of community organizations like Toastmasters. Scene setters for personal growth, they paint a canvas for practicing public speaking and leadership skills. Their footprints are seen on the confidence peak of many individuals, offering an antidote to the fear of self-expression. Backed by the solid examples and testimonials of those who have walked this path, you too can see the potential transformation. The charm of growth overshadows the fear once you step into a fostering environment like Toastmasters. The palpable impact of such external support networks is akin to a lamp guiding you through a dark path, amplifying your confidence, providing motivation and reassurance, and softening the harsh hits of judgments. So, as you stand at the threshold of self-expression, remember that fear traversed becomes the bridge to personal freedom. And in your journey, you are never alone. Upon the stage of triumph, let's spotlight J.K. Rowling. The creator of the universally cherished Harry Potter series didn't walk down an easy path to achieve her extraordinary success. Her journey was stained with the ink of multiple rejections. But these failures did not discourage her. Instead, they empowered her as she transformed them into stepping stones paving her path to success. But the essential ingredient in Rowling's recipe of success was conquering fear. 
Fear, frequently viewed as a paralyzing obstacle, is a spark to action, a hidden motivator in disguise. Embracing fear opened the door to her success. Rowling's courage, steeped in resilience, allowed her to transform obstacles into triumphant victories. Rowling's story, inspiring and tangible, is a message echoing through our minds that fear kneels in the face of unwavering persistence. Her tale of victory serves as a beacon, directing us through the stifling fog of self-expressive fear. The irrefutable testament to the transformative power of courage, it elucidates that overcoming fear and achieving personal fulfillment isn't an unreachable literary trope, but a practical reality. To comprehend the dance that societal norms and individual expression engage in, it helps to see these norms as a two-edged sword. On one side, they act like a guillotine, stifling creative expression when it deviates too far from the accepted norm. But on the flip side, they serve as a backdrop or canvas, providing a context that shapes and hones individual creativity into forms that can be appreciated or even applauded by society. This complex interplay has undergone significant shifts throughout history. For instance, Renaissance marked a period of extreme freedom of expression, emphasizing scientific inquiry and the arts. Contrastingly, when Galileo presented his heliocentric view, his thoughts threatened established dictates, triggering ripples of discomfort. These undulations between restrictions and liberties form the historical narrative of human expression. However, the real story lies in the resilience and creativity that rose despite these imposed limits, like a phoenix from its ashes. Pivoting to the second narrative thread, the war between censorship and liberation has influenced societal norms, public discourse, and even art. Not confined to rare instances in history, this recurring clash is a powerful representation of the enduring human spirit pitted against control. Thus, transformation, a challenge to existing norms, nudges shifts in self-expression, paving the way for newer dimensions, even as we navigate societal expectations and personal authenticity. The paralyzing fear of self-expression can turn vibrant hues into mounds of gray. Yet when we harness strategies like cognitive behavioral techniques, daringly confronting our fear through exposure therapy, and subduing negative influences with positive self-talk, we transform that fear into a stairway to personal freedom. Techniques like cognitive behavioral therapy arm us with the necessary tools to identify and combat the pessimistic thinking patterns while unpacking their underlying causes. Exposure therapy turns the dimly lit path into a fear-conquering journey. On this path, fostering positive self-talk becomes our beacon, melting away the inhibitions that once shackled us. If you ever feel overwhelmed, draw courage from Martin Luther King Jr., a name synonymous with bravely voicing against racial injustices, and Vincent Van Gogh, who famously unleashed his chaotic creativity onto the canvas despite criticism. Their audacious expression of thought, struggle against societal pressure, and resilience in the face of adversity offer us brave examples of transcending our fears. Embrace this transformative journey, stride towards each discomfort and challenge. Recognize that the fear of self-expression, once confronted, unfolds into a spectrum of liberating personal growth and freedom.